Okay, uh, accelerated math, solve two-step equations, uh, looking at integer answers only on these. All right, so no decimals on these. All right, uh, basic equations, uh, not too difficult. It says two steps, so it's usually going to take two steps. And the uh, basic idea with solving equations is that you want to do, you're, you're trying to isolate x. You're trying to get x by itself. In the end, you want to have a statement that says x equals, so it's, it's like a mystery. You're trying to find out what value of x could be true. Um, and you could play the little guess and chat game and on this. You could put a 1 in there, go 1 times 4 is 4, plus this 4 is 8. It's not equal to 16. Try number 2. Put a 2 in there. 2 times 4 is 8, and so forth, and go through the list. But we really don't, I mean, guess and check is okay on some very, very basic equations, and some of these it wouldn't be too hard to do that. But what we want to do is we want to solve it by isolating x by doing opposite operations, doing, undoing what they did to it, and doing it to both sides. And I'll show you what I mean. And this says 4x plus 4 equals 16. Since it's plus 4, we're going to subtract 4, and we're going to do it to both sides. And we get 4x. We're writing what we have left. The plus 4 and the minus 4 cancel each other out. We're left with 16 minus 4 is 12. All right. And now we're going to um, continue to work this and isolate x. This is 4 times x. There's no operation in between there, but I'm going to put the dot there just to show you that it's times. If there's nothing there, then it's multiplication. We have to do the opposite. What's the opposite of multiplication? You got it, division. So we're going to divide by 4, and we're going to do it to both sides. And that's pretty much what you're going to see over and over and over. x equals, well, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So there's our answer. All right, so we'll pick up the pace a little bit. Now this one has a 6 out front, 6 plus 2x. Uh, some people want to divide it by 2 first. You, you can do that, but it gets a little complicated because you have to divide everything by 2. And uh, I would rather you work in reverse order on this order order of operations. You used to, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Um, we work backwards, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Well, we're going to work backwards. We're going to start with the addition, subtraction first. This is a positive 6, not because of this plus over here, but because it doesn't have a negative in front of it. So we're going to get rid of that first. So we're going to minus 6, going to do it to both sides. We've got 2x, and then some people get into a little trouble here. I like to write it out like this for people, and they go, oh, yeah, yeah, you got to do this deal to it. So it's a negative 8 plus a negative 6. You're combining two negatives. It remains negative, and you add the number, so negative 14. you got to get rid of that 2. We're going to divide by 2, divide both sides by 2. 2 cancels out here or reduces to 1. We get negative 14 divided by 2. We get negative 7. Negative divided by positive is negative. So we got negative 7. All right, uh, a little bit different. This one uh, still two-step equation. So we, let's get rid of this minus four first. Let's do plus four, plus four to both sides. We got x over two, or x divided by two, equals five. Now, how do we get rid of this? Think about this. A minute ago, if it had been something like two x, in fact, I think we had one like that, two x equals fourteen. Um, we said, well, that's two times x, so we divide by two. I'm doing it to both sides. And this one has, well, it's divided by 2, so how do we get rid of that? Well, we do the opposite of division, and that is multiply by 2. And I'm going to multiply it by 2. You can think of it as 2 over 1, um, and you've got to multiply this side by 2. So in doing that, we these two, cancel, uh, two 2's cancel out or reduce to 1, so we're left with x. And over here on this side, we got 5 times 2 is 10. So it's pretty simple, but that fraction stuff throws some people off. All right? You can go back to the original equation, if in doubt, and check it and see if you've got the right answer. You put the 10 in here, so it's 10 divided by 2 minus 4 equals 1. 10 divided by 2, or 10 over 2, reduces to 5 over 1, or just 5. 5 minus, whoops, 5 minus 4 is supposed to equal 1, and in fact, it does. So it's the right answer. Um, and on the next one, I'm going to show you with the calculator how to verify it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of this 3 first. I'm going to minus 3 uh, because it's a positive 3. That cancels it out there. 4 minus 3 is 1. We still have x over 3. Now, multiplying both sides. Th now, this is the same situation we were in last time. It's divide by 3, so we're going to multiply this side by 3, which is going to cancel it out. And that was the whole point of the opposite operation. We're going to multiply the other side by 3. 
pretty simple. X equals 1 times 3 is 3. Alright, now I said we're going to take the calculator. I want to show you this. If we go back to the, well first of all, we came up with 3. And I'm going to put 3 and I'm going to store it in for X. And uh, as you're in high school, you're allowed to use these calculators on most tests, quizzes, and uh, standardized tests. So you need to get used to doing this. Um, you know, on a test or quiz, uh, and, and I want to get a good grade, I just came up with 3 as my solution. I've got some extra time. Let me store it into X. That's what this was. I stored it into X. Hit Enter. Now X is equal to 3. In fact, if I go back to my calculator and I put X and hit Enter, it'll tell me it's 3. So I'm, I'm just clearing here. Now I'm going to go back to the original equation. I know it says 4 equals, but I'm just putting the 3 plus X hit the fraction key over 3. Now remember the calculator um, understands at this point that X is 3. So I hit enter and notice how it comes out to 4. And that just verified that I had the right answer. Alright. One more. Let's see what's difficult about this one. Alright, well we got this this negative number. They threw it in parentheses just to offset it just so you knew that this was uh, this negative went with the 16. So how are we going to get rid of plus negative 16? Well isn't that the same thing as negative 4x minus 16? Yeah. Okay, so it's a negative 16 we're trying to get rid of. So how do we get rid of it? Well we add 16. Let's add 16 to this side. We get negative 4x equals negative 56 plus 16. Um, signs are different. You keep the sign of the larger number and you subtract. So it's 56 minus 16 and you get uh, 40 on that. Alright, now we're going to divide by that negative 4. Divide this side by negative 4. We got x equals two negatives. Make a positive. Alright, so you really got to know those integers and how to deal with negatives and positives on these things because you can do a lot of that. Alright, that's it. Have fun.